Hi, welcome to my channel, The Magic of Math. Today, I'd like to talk to you about how to interpret slope. So let's review some vocabulary. Today, we're gonna to be talking about slope in the real world. So we're gonna look at graphs of real world situations. And the slope of the line tells us how something changes over time. We can use a slope to find the rate of change over that period. So remembering this rate of change is a ratio telling us how much for one, how much per one. So our change in Y over our change in X. And we're gonna use this knowledge to interpret the slope. Now we need to understand what interpret means. Interpret means to explain or translate the meaning of. So when you're asked to interpret the slope, you're writing a sentence describing what slope means to that problem or to that graph. So a lot of times I ask students to interpret slope and they give me a number. Well, a number is what the value of the slope is, but to interpret it is to tell me what it means. So think about a foreign language. If you interpret or translate something, you're telling somebody what it means in a different language so that they can understand it. So we wanna understand slope. We wanna know what it means, not what the value of it is. We'll use that in our interpretation. All right, so how do we interpret slope? There are three key components that I always look for for my students to have in their sentence. First is the title of the graph. That's gonna tell us what the purpose of it is. What, it, what are we looking at? What is the graph of the line? Second, we're gonna look at labels or units of the y-axis and what is the y-axis representing and the label or the units of the x-axis and what does that represent? Because when we talk about slope, slope is a ratio of the change in y over the change in x. That's what slope is. So if we make it relevant and include the title, then we'll have a great interpretation. So let's look at this graph of pool passes. So here's our line, y equals three x plus six is the equation of the line, noting that that's written in slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So m is my slope of three. My title is pool passes, our y-axis is telling us the cost, but dollars. And then our x-axis is the number of passes. So we've been identified all our key points here. So now let's go through passes, dollars, pass, and then our slope is three. So we're gonna put all of this together. Pool passes cost $3 per pass. So notice I'm mentioning what we are doing. It's the cost and my unit of dollars and it's per pass. So remember our ratio, our slope is always over one. This is really three over one. So increase three and over one, increase three over one. So that's our rate of change. But what does it mean to pool passes? Pool passes cost $3 per pass. All right, here's one for you to try. It's about a pizza party. I'd like you to pause write your interpretation of the slope and come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back, let's see how you did. So hopefully you understood that it was pizzas that needed to be ordered, the number per person, and your slope is one half. So what does this mean? The slope of this line is you need to order half a pizza per person for the pizza party. All right, now let's talk about birthday cake. Go ahead and pause, interpret the slope, come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back, let's see how you did. So we're talking about birthday cake, we're talking about the cost in dollars, and we're talking about per serving. And our slope is 1.25, so $1.25. So let's write our sentence. The birthday cake cost $1.25 per serving. Let's talk about cellular data. Okay, be careful, this is a negative slope. So go ahead and pause, write your sentence of interpreting the slope and come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back, let's see how you did. So our title is cellular data usage. So we know we're talking about a cell phone plan and how much data is being used. We know that our ratio is going to be minutes per day. 
then our slope is negative 2.5. So we know it's going down, meaning we're using that much. So here we go. The customer uses two and a half minutes of data per day. Now you could rearrange this. You could say the customer's data usage is two and a half minutes per day. As long as all of the keywords are in there, I'm okay. All right, here's a helicopter. Please pause, interpret the slope, come back to check your work. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So we're talking about a helicopter. It's height in meters per second. Our slope is negative five. So we know that our helicopter is beginning its descent and it's going to hit the ground here because its height will be zero. So my interpretation of the slope, the helicopter descends five meters per second. So we're going down five meters per second. I would also accept that. A helicopter is going down five meters per second. Or the helicopter is landing at a rate of five meters per second. So as long as you have the words helicopter, meter, and seconds, you're good with your slope, of course. I hope you enjoyed this little tidbit today. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more videos yet to come. Have a great day.